Okay, this is the second video in a series on a reading passage in the SHSAT. The one before this goes over questions um, 21 and 22. So here, we're going to continue. And notice there's a lot to read here. So again, I suggest you pause, maximize, and read through this video. I'm going to try and remember to upload this in HD so that it's as clear as possible. You can also download this passage on my website. So anyway, in the last, in the last video, we talked about how this passage talks about saber-toothed cats and, and how um, scientists are able to know what they know about them. So let me get my pen tool out. We're going to continue and I'm going to keep writing in red. Question 23, we're, we're asked, what does the passage imply about the, the prey of the saber-toothed cat? Well, in this question, uh, I'm going to I'll argue that actually that the answer that they marked as correct here, I, I don't actually agree with. Uh, but we'll talk about that. So um, the, the heart of this question 23 can be studied, I think, um, in this part of the passage, right? It says, the many chipped, broken, mended, arthritic, think of arthritis, dislocated, pulling bones out of sockets, and infected, perhaps bitten, and then later got infected, labre bones have led researchers to conclude that the violent attacks of the saber tooth often put them out of commission for for considerable amounts of time. So imagine that. I mean, I what I picture is that the saber tooth tiger, here it is with its huge fangs, right? That's my saber tooth, running along to attack an animal. And the animal that attacks could be huge, it could be small, but it's dangerous. It's got a horn here or something, maybe it's got some sharp claws. So when the saber tooth is attacking, this animal is attacking back and hurting the saber tooth. So that's what we're implying. We're implying that these animals are actually dangerous, that the saber tooths are going after. And that answer is not here. Um, so let's, let's go through that. They often killed the cats during their battles. Well, the prey may have, have killed the cats during their battles. We don't know. Uh, we know they certainly hurt them. We have lots of evidence of that, where the bones are all messed up. So that's a possibility. We'll leave that one out for now. They, are, they were dependent upon the cats for survival. We have no idea if the prey was somehow dependent on the cats. And in fact, that's probably not true, right? If the, the cats are attacking the prey and killing them, it's, it's probably the cats that are destroying them. Of course, we're not sure about that. It could be that the cats were eating enough of the prey so that the prey didn't eat all the food supply and then hurt themselves. We don't know. Uh, that we, don't, we, can't make that, we can't imply this statement. C. They were usually larger than the cats. So it's possible that the prey were larger, and that's the reason they were able to hurt the cats. That's a possibility. And then D says they lived primarily in what is now California. Much of what happens here takes place in, in California, but they do say skeletons of the two animals have been found together on several continents. And that's the two animals is referring to um, the, the, the cat and its prey. And remember, the, it says that the prey were elephant-like. They're enormous. Um, so... Anyway, we'll get back to that. D is out. They were never trapped in the, in the tar pits. That's talking about the bones they found. We don't know what bones were found in the tar pits, although it does say that um, predator and prey was preserved in, in the pits. So it's probably true that they were trapped in those pits as well. So now, um, A and C. I, I, I chose A initially, and I said because we don't know if if the prey was typically larger. We knew that the mastodon was larger than the saber-tooth, right? And we knew that the saber-tooth loved to hunt this um, mastodon. And the mastodon was enormous, uh, elephant-like, in fact. But I chose A because we don't know. I mean, you can have a very small animal that's super dangerous. Think of a porcupine, right? That porcupine might not break the bones on the saber-tooth, but if the saber-tooth bites into this porcupine or falls on it, these spikes, perhaps there was some kind of super little predator with super spikes, could get into the bone. And when that happens, think about, you know, you have the bone here and then the, the spear or the, the, the needle or whatever pierces it. When that needle is pulled out, there's a hole here and an infection can take place. And you knew the bones are infected. I chose A because I... I know that these animals can get hurt in multiple ways. But they are saying that, that C is the answer, not A. And I guess I can see that because the mastodon is enormous. And that the mastodon is their main prey and, and probably was their size that crushed the, the animals. But we don't know that. I feel like it's equally easy to imply that 
the, because the bones are always damaged on the animals, that there are also many animals that were killed in the process. Anyway, sometimes these answers are certainly debatable. Uh, here I, I would go with C for the test because they do give us a hint back here that the mastodons are enormous. Anyway, moving on. Which of the following best describes what is suggested by the statement that the saber tooth had a heart? And they give you the line that the statement is on, which is nice. So where's line 35? Okay, here it is. Had a heart, at least for its own kind. Um, and then they skip a little bit, and then down here it describes what it means. During the mending periods, research have reasons that, that cats must have allowed wounded comrades to share in their kills until they could hunt again. So that's the connection between had a heart and what, they, what the researchers mean by that. So, uh, in fact, the choice here for, t for 24 is K. The cat's food sharing resembled an act of kindness. Uh, we don't know what their emotions were. We don't, in H, it says, uh, we have no idea if they fought each other. People uh, fight all the time and still care for each other. The cats felt something, uh, people, cats as well, I'm sorry. The cats felt something like regret at killing their prey. Maybe they did, but we don't know that. Um, the killing behavior was unusual for the cats. Maybe, uh, although we don't know that either. We do know that when they did kill, they got hurt. And uh, when they were hurt, other cats uh, helped them survive because they weren't able enough to still hunt. So someone must have helped them. And K is the best choice. Okay, we have two more questions on this, and I'll, I'll cover that in the next video. Hope this helped.